Hey guys! So for today's video, I thought I would show you my ancestral altar, or my altar for the dead. Since I mentioned it in my last video, I figured let's take a walk through it. Um, first things first, I do need more room for this altar. It's a big part of my practice and I really would like to have more room. So at some point, I'm gonna get a bigger altar for my altar of the dead, but we'll, we'll figure it out when the time comes. So, um, I don't want this video to be too terribly long, so we're just gonna, we're gonna get right into it. Also, sorry for the shaky cam, I'm holding my phone. So this right here is a, one of my cats that passed away. Um, hey, this was her collar. I, um, had her when I was 12 and she passed away when I think I was like 23. So she lived a pretty decent life. And then I shared this in my last video. This is a picture of my great grandmother and I. I was about two, I think. Um, she passed away when I was 16. And then I inherited a piece of jewelry from her, which was really, really meaningful. And then um, this is all the stuff for my mom. A lot of this is insanely symbolic. Um, so obviously there's a couple pictures of her and I. And then um, this necklace was one that she wore all the time. She actually wore it the last time I saw her before she got sick. Ugh, cat on the altar, seriously? Um, really? Naughty. Um, it's like every time I film, guys, my cats are always like, let's interrupt. Um, so... Yeah, um, when my mom passed and the hospital gave us a bag of her things, this was in it. And so I just took it and I tend to wear it um, when I kind of just need to feel her energy. And coincidentally, uh, when the Cackling Moon did a mediumship reading for me, she, she spoke about a necklace, which I quite honestly thought was the pentacle that I always wear, which is... Um, kept down here sometimes. You guys see this pr rather frequently. Focus. Focus. Oh, we're okay. That's cool phone. I guess we're not doing that. Um, but yeah, I was wrong and it's the, it was this. So yeah, <laughs> I actually like, I had an epiphany about that about a week later after getting the reading done from her. So this is a a bowl of like shells and stuff that I picked up actually on the trip that I was um on when she passed away including a rock and stuff this is all from the beach in Washington and I also the day that she passed away found this like sea glass stopper on the beach so I've just kind of kept that stuff there um more shells and stuff from Washington this is a sprig of cedar and then this was a painted rock I found in Washington um, that I actually found when I was with her before she got sick. I saw her twice before she got sick and then I went back to Minnesota and then she got sick. So this is a business card from um, um, a historical haunted castle that she, my mother lived near. I actually went and visited there the morning of the day that she passed away too. So it was all kind of awfully coincidental. Um, this is a charm bracelet that's got all these things from Washington on it. Um, and this is her urn. When she passed away, my brothers and I had her cremated, and the three of us split the ashes, so my brothers and I all each have an urn. Um, so yeah. Um, and then this is a sugar skull that my brother sent me from Mexico last fall. This is moon water. I try to keep water out for the dead. Um, this is a watch that my uncle gave me. My uncle passed away when I was nine. He was 40 and he had a massive stroke. So, and that's my mom's brother. Um, this is Santa Morte. I keep her on my altar for the dead. And these are marigolds and then rocks and stuff from Mexico. As well as, I think, yeah, that's another rock for her from Mexico. And then um, this is her candle. I actually found another candle that I'm going to use for her, though. So um, this is for my... Oops, running into stuff. 
This is for my grandfather. There is a picture of him and I as a baby. Um, this is his guitar pick, and this is a box of his ashes. Um, this is a piece of jewelry that I inherited that was my grandmother's who's still with us. But when, before my mom died, she said that she wanted, she and my grandmother wanted me to have it. And when my mom passed away, my grandmother gave it to me. And um, it is something that my grandfather gave to my grandmother. So I have that. And then this is my grandfather's harmonica. He was a very musical person, as you could tell from the guitar pick. Um, for one Christmas one year, my mom and my grandma gave me this, and I like burst into tears when I opened it. So, <laughs> yeah. Um, and then this is a letter opener that was my husband's grandfather's. I didn't know him very well, but I still wanted to honor him. So I want to get something for his grandmother too. So um, the only other thing that I plan on adding to this pretty soon is last last month um my husband's parents put down their beloved dog who they have had since my husband and I first started dating they actually got her right around the time that we started dating and um yeah it's been really hard I miss her a lot so I'm going to get a picture of her and put her up on this as well so yeah, this is a very, very big part of my practice. It's it's very important for me to honor the dead and to commune with them. And with Samhain coming up, this is the time of the year where I do this even more. And um, on Samhain, I put up an altar in my living room that is for the dead so they can come to visit. And um, I have a lantern that I light. I light it whenever there's a passing as well, um, either either for someone that I know that has lost someone or, or someone that is close to me. And this includes animals. So I will light that lantern all day on Samhain. If it was my preference, I would actually erect this altar from the passing of Maybon all the way to Samhain. But I have little fingers that would be all up in this. So I only do it the day of Samhain. So it's really hard to chase them away. They're very curious, you know, two and four. Um, so yeah, I just wanted to share my altar for the, the dead or my ancestral altar and I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you have any questions about this altar or my practice for honoring the dead, please leave them in the comments below and I will see you tomorrow in my next video.